To lower health care costs, cut medical errors, and improve care, we'll computerize the nation's health records in five years, saving billions of dollars in health care costs and countless lives. Because of what we did, lives will be saved and health care costs will be cut with new computerized medical records. Both the Senate and the House have now produced legislation that will bring down costs, provide better care for patients, and curb the worst practices of insurance companies so that they can no longer deny Americans coverage based on a pre-existing medical condition. It's a and we've urged Congress to include a proposal for a standing commission of doctors and medical experts to oversee cost savings measures. I want to stop insurance companies from denying coverage because of a person's medical history. Insurance companies will be prohibited from denying you coverage because of your medical history, dropping your coverage if you get sick, or watering down your coverage when it counts. Because there's no point in having health insurance if it's not there when you need it. Then I want insurance companies to make arbitrary decisions about what medical care is best for you, as they do today. As I've said from the beginning, under the reform we see, we've also created hundreds of thousands of jobs through the largest investment in our roads since the building of the interstate highway system, and through the largest investment in education, medical research, and clean energy in history. These to keep that trust, we're building a 21st century VA, increasing its budget, and ensuring the steady stream of funding it needs to support medical care for our veterans. So that we eliminate what we don't need to pay for the investments we need to grow, like education and medical research. As we can see here at Manitowoc, we need to ensure the investments that will help America compete for new jobs. Investments in our kids' education and student loans, in clean energy and life-saving medical research. Reducing spending while still investing in the future is what we have to say to a medical researcher, you can't do that cancer research. We, before we cut medical research, we should ask hedge fund managers to stop paying taxes at a lower rate than their secretaries. Before the field of electronic medical records. Before enrolling at Lorraine, Andrea told me she was, even President Bush's director of the National Institutes of Health, says these cuts will set back medical science for a generation. And if you're among the up to half of all Americans who've been sick or have a pre-existing condition, this law means that beginning January 1st, insurance companies have to cover you. And they can't use your medical history to charge you more than anybody else. Our medical experts tell us that the best way to stop this disease is to stop it at its source before it spreads even wider and becomes even more difficult to contain. In New York City, medical personnel move quickly to isolate and care for the patient there, a doctor who recently returned from West Africa. The medical community has to be engaged too because better prescribing practices will make a difference.